Drum um, back to virtual events for iconic offices and today we're gonna make pizza so all the recipes underneath but just so you follow me here I've got my 400 grams of plain flour if you have strong flour it's even better but I know it's times are tough at the moment so a teaspoon of salt is going in there and I'm gonna give that a little mix around these are my hands obviously they're all washed so just make sure you do and then a nice big glug about two tablespoons of olive oil is going in there. We're going to do our uh, yeast and water. So the yeast and water will go together. We put it in the water which is warm and helps the yeast kind of bloom and wake up. Give that a nice big stir. In goes our water, our warm water and our yeast. About three quarters. You can always add more but it's very difficult to take it away. This is it. Hand going in. We're making our pizza dough. Very straightforward blending the dry ingredients with the wet. So use your hands, you can turn it out onto the table if you wish. And if it still feels a little dry, you do want it to be quite moist, but not wet, wet. We're gonna start kneading it in. So as you knead, they'll all start coming in and attaching on. Okay, so we're gonna knead for about five minutes. And once you've done that, we're gonna store it away from anywhere between an hour and 24 hours or even a week if you wish. Okay guys, so once you've been kneading it for about five minutes, you can kind of bring it together. The rough bit at the bottom is okay. We're gonna put a drizzle of oil in our, um, in the bottom of the bowl that you've been using already. So it's got flour up the edges, which is perfect. And even a little bit more flour around the edges and that will help it stop sticking, okay? So that is gonna go in there in a kind of warm place in your house. Um, covered with cling film or a damp tea towel. I also drizzled a little bit of olive oil on the top as well. So that will help not get a crust forming on the top. And as I said, you can either put that in the fridge for a long amount of time if you have it, or if you're doing it quickly, into maybe a hot press or somewhere nice and warm for about an hour and it will start to rise. So I made some dough earlier. It's got a little bit of oil on it. So what we do is get flour onto our hands and we're just gently gonna start to stretch this dough. Keep moving in that circular motion and go as fast as you can because it actually gets quite heavy. See it coming through there, but we want it to be even. That's why if we go fast, we can get it even. So I did it in three, because three will give you about three 12 inch pizzas. Okay, this is acting as my peel. You know those big sticks that they have in pizza places? So that is gonna help me get my pizza onto the pizza stone. What I've done is I've put the pizza stone in the oven for at least an hour to get the while I'm heating up that oven. You want your oven at the hottest temperature you have it. So if you don't have a pizza stone, which is totally fair enough, you could use a tray, just a normal baking tray. Get that in the oven for an hour. I know it sounds like a long time, but you want these, this oven to be so hot. Right, here goes my sauce I like quite a bit. That is a can of chopped tomatoes blitzed in my Nutribullet with a little bit of olive oil, some oregano, salt, pepper. I like a little bit of chili, so I put a bit of chili sauce in there. Good bit of tomato sauce. I love the flavor of it. I'm gonna make you a margarita to make this, but also you, of course, can make it whatever flavor you guys want. So just with the mozzarella, the buffalo mozzarella, I kind of open it up, drain all that water off, I kind of have it standing so that a lot of the liquid goes to the bottom. So they are juicy on the center part, but it's not great for the base of your pizza if you're trying to get it really crispy and it gets too soggy too fast. If you want little additions of maybe some sprinkle of oregano, tiny bit on top, I love it on pizza. Then I've got different options there. Loads of lovely rockets that would usually go on the end or just Italian parm ham and some um, Parmesan cheese, you could do chorizo, you could do, you know, the list is endless. So now we know this is gonna oh, hopefully shake off, yeah. Just make sure there's a good bit of flour there. And I'm gonna shake this into the oven and cook it for about seven to 10 minutes, depending on the heat of our ovens. Hopefully it won't take much longer than that. There is our pizza, guys. Oh, bubbling away out of the oven, off the pizza stone, absolutely. As I said, customize your own, like whatever way.